following feature is rated SM for spiritual maturity and is not intended for the immature who wishes to remain as such. The views expressed are not necessarily those of our sponsors as they sometimes could care less about what the host is saying but is more concerned about having their product on a popular show. Warning, small minds, listen at your own risk as this content is extremely overwhelming and may do further damage to those minds closed off to objective reality. Approach with an open mind as the heavy nature of the content will lick your chip. Your chip. Hey! In the meantime, 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 in between time, time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time. Time. Yes, yes, yes. Me there again. Yes, curly locks device box. Yes, me a check in I know. Yes. First and foremost, my humblest apologies for the delay in this episode of In The Meantime. Due to circumstances that were beyond my control, yes. And look on the bright side, another episode of In The Meantime and Down The Cloud. <laughs> we are tell you Rasta, yes, episode 8. Yes, entitled, Deliver Us From Ego, Part 3. We just passed there, ready for that one. Yeah. I couldn't wait to do it again, my brother. <laughs> yes, we are telling you, all I'm right. Telling you. Watch out now. Mm-hmm. As usual, this part of the program you know, is brought to you by Madvert Multimedia. If it's not Madvert, it's not an advert. I mean, I tell you, Rasta. However, the owners and operators of Madvert Multimedia do apologize to the many consumers who are sending their concerns to their email about the website being down. Yes, the website is closed for reconstruction in order to serve you customers better. But we'll be back up soon, so just stay tuned. Yes, yes. This part of the program is also brought to you by Rebel 13 Collections. Yes, for the finest in custom design clothing. Yes, it's at Rebel 13 Collections. Yes, for everything printing except fingerprinting. I tell you that. All right. Pastor, we are start. Yes, we are mm-hmm. start strong today, you know, mm-hmm. on this ego thing, you know, Rasta. Yes, my brother. You. Because of the ego, let me tell you this, man. Mankind, human being, are one of the most delusional creatures upon the planet. Is that so? Oh, you mean? They know the only creature we say. They want long life and prosperity and no one get old. They hate old age. And if somebody no kill you or something no kill you, half it all, you know. Me I tell you that. I watch you now, me I tell you, so the ego make them the most miserable and confused creature upon the planet. And as your queen hear them now, hey, this a play, yeah, me not like them people, you know, cause them a live like dog. The reality of this whole situation is, if a dog, if you say to a next dog, say I live like people, that would have be the real insult. But with delusional here, you know, as a queen, yes, the human being is the most intelligent of all the animals, the lower animals, we have dominion over them. But look where that so-called intellect do to we. You ever see a dog and worry about where everybody have and where everybody think of them? The human intellect compromised and tainted by this illusion named the ego. And a normal sickness human being have, man. Corona a joke. And you hear some people a while ago we are listening to this now. You know, say, true. So now what? Amazing. I myself just said in my mind that what you just said is true. I, I, I too now have to ask, what are we? We seem confused as to who we are. Why are people like that though? Because them think them unique. Everyone think them unique and for them situation. Different from the next person who own them. Unaware. So every human being on this planet connect to the same grid of consciousness. Could you could you simplify? I'm 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 kind of confused. All right, look on the grid of consciousness like like a puppet master. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could say God then, yeah. Mm-hmm. And look upon the string, like the spirit, the human spirit. And look upon the flesh, like a suit where the spirit are wear, so you can get to see the puppet. Now just imagine the puppet now a rebel against the string, or I should have said the spirit, which is made from this grid of consciousness and connected to that grid. Now the ego make the puppet or the lower self, or lower form, rebel against the spirit. I never thought of it that way, my brother. Yeah, man. 
95% of humanity is in all out war with that grid of consciousness, which is them higher self or objective nature. Hey, you see the grid of consciousness? It is why you or I can dare so right now and just think of something and somebody say the same exact thing where you just think. Exactly, because earlier, when you mentioned that humans were sick and... Yeah. And that... You predicted that people listening would actually say it's true. Yeah, man. And I myself said it was true. Yeah, man. May I tell you how me know? Because the grid of consciousness is the nature of existence. It is our objective nature itself. It is the common sense where the whole are we connect to. It is the objective truth of all things. It is the elephant in the room. But unfortunately, as I say, most people see themselves as separate, unique, for them realities only for them reality. And it never crossed them minds so right now, tomorrow, if them dead, life no stop. If I feed them reality, them no should have gone with it. When a man dead, him is just an ex puppet with drop off of the string. But but why are the people so Terrible, knowing that, 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 that we all have something in common like, like this, my brother. I, I'm bewildered but and astonished by this reality. Could you explain, my brother? No, man. You know, me don't believe so people. Terrible. No, man. It's just unconscious people doing terrible things unconsciously. What is the meaning of such a statement at, at this time, my brother? What do what, what you mean? All right, all right, I'm going to answer that, but I'm going to get something to make you, you have a broader understanding of what I'm trying to say now. All right. Mm-hmm. I believe every human being is made from a duality of conflicting energies within themselves. One is the socially manipulated, conscious, perfect self that we believe we are. Yes, this conscious self is known otherwise as the ego or the person. It is the thing that make we feel like we are the most important, unique, or significant out of billions of people. Unbelievably true, my brother. Yeah, man, it is this conscious self or the person. Yes, the one where we consider as the mind or the or we true self or our only self. Yes. This are the one now we make you stuck in a defensive mode. Yeah, we make you defend self-image or how you appear to others. Now, the second one now is the objective nature or the God essence. The observer of the mind, which is the ego. The one that make your ego know whether it want to know it or not. Say, a fuck where you tell yourself and others. And I tell you when a fuck where you do, whenever you do fuck where. The one when know that and, and, and don't make you forget it is your objective nature. Now, the vice of your objective nature is called your conscience. This is why most people don't like to be alone with themselves and have to be entertained away from that objective nature. You think so? Of course. How you say? Watch a man. And that's why in a corona time, I say most people turn idiot. Them can't stay with themselves. Why is that? Because when things quiet are in a solace, mm-hmm. your objective nature, which is God, come to you. And again, when we say God, you know, it's not this long white beard brother you're sitting on a cloud in a long gown, you know, with a big book, all right, how much sweet your teeth when you lick, how much lie you tell, how much man the woman take, how much woman the man use. Do you really think so? Oh, you mean if me think so? God is the nature of existence itself, it manifests itself through the grid of consciousness where all are we connect to. Now, the conscious mind or the ego now, you know, that make you live in fear, constant fear of social judgment. So you're afraid to try it because you're afraid to feel and get judged feed. So the ego now make you feel like you can abdicate. Yes, the word of the day is abdicate. A-B-D-I-C-A-T-E. It means when you feel to fulfill or undertake a responsibility or a duty. Yeah, yeah. So me I say the ego make you feel like you can run from your moral obligation where you have to the nature of your own existence. It tell you say not none of your fault. When any situation in life require you to take responsibility for your action, you make be excuse. You talk about who oh, are true, me never have no father, make me turn out that way, I am there, so I do this and nothing, nah, go on and I true my type of brown, I'm more like Dennis Brown, I'm not shaggy brown, that's why I have to turn Jim Brown, because I can't get a job. Because nobody don't like me, everybody will fight me. Now your objective nature now just make you know right away, say I lie that. And you can't do no, say I no lie. Yeah, now nah, make you forget. 
And that's why most people so miserable. If 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 you if it is that you see that yeah. you have a particular problem and you cannot not know it. But, and, uh, 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 hold on. Yeah. According yeah. to you, you yeah. cannot not know the problem, and it is indeed that obvious yeah. that that you have these problems. Then, my brother, yeah. why is it that um yeah. people don't acknowledge what they they know beyond the shadow of a doubt? I I can't get it. Because most problems subconscious, and people will not admit to any kind of problem where they're not conscious of. But my brother, just yeah. to play devil's advocate, you just expressed yeah. prior that mm. we all know. So how come at this juncture yeah. you're saying that? What may I say? We're not conscious. I'm, I'm confused. Because what you know? Mm-hmm. Because the ego is a thing where make human beings don't take responsibility for them action and don't own up to nothing at all. Mm-hmm. The ego tells us so we're right and, and everybody else wrong. So we do know when it realizes that we are all the same and possess the same good and evil within with nature. Mm-hmm. We do know mm-hmm. when we know how to use the same evil where we quick for seeing as somebody else, it make we have a different label now where we attach to the actions, these evil actions, and we are going to use it. So guess what now? We are freedom fighter the next Monday a terrorist. The next group there is a cult, but we know he's a religion. Me know a self preserve but that person they selfish. We hungry, but them greedy. These lies what we use for justify personal actions when we want to do the same thing where we consider other people evil for. Repeat so long that we believe it. How so? All right. Watch the example here of human beings being convinced. Say the same thing, you know, Rasta. A two different thing. All right, watch her. Why you think it is you, if a man walk in a one room and see a woman in a brazier and panty them, scream out and I go on the most weird, them traumatized needle therapy. But Sunday I come, them they are Elsha in a two-piece bikini. Not only that, them put it by Instagram and I beg you to like it. Them actually believe, said the two-piece bikini, different from the brazier and panty. When are the same fucking thing. I, 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 I get what you're saying, but I, I, I don't think I'm, 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 I'm really processing the, the, the depth Virgin, of... you may ask someone. It... All right, all right, let me ask you something then. All right, all right. You eat meat? As a matter of fact, I do. I am. I, I eat my Trenton and I, I love me some rank rummy on special occasions, my brother. All right, all right, cool. You know, it's not meat. You are anybody where you eat meat, love, though, right? Yeah, what do you mean by that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stupid list, what are you talking about? You know, a seasoning people love, though, and not the meat itself, like when most people love things that they love. I'm not following. Because without the seasoning, nobody wouldn't eat the meat. Why is that, though? Because the reality of where we are eat hard to deal with in our purest farm, so we season it up. So me use the analogy there for say, the reality of malevolence or evil we are human really capable of. Hard to deal with the night purest farm. So we use these labels and redefine things in order to season up the reality of who we really are and what we're capable of. When all of we possess the same good and evil, but the ego make most of we feel so we should just be good. Everyone consider themselves Jesus and everybody else as Judas and every other Judas I think the same thing. <laughs> Boy, I be a tell you, Rasta. So we develop a psychological double standard approach to everything. So that's why you see some man a pint over there so in our next direction when he must say, there goes a scammer, that's a politician. But when he pint on himself, he say, I am a pastor, a man of God. So what should the ego do now? The ego make him use the word pasta and season up the reality of who him really is and where him capable of at the core of him human nature. So because of this label you know in a few mind, him is only good and those other people are so ungodly and so utterly immoral and they need to find their way to God. While he must struggle with the same things that the regular person struggle with. That's blasphemy. God I mean, sends I his say, apostles, I mean, my brother. That, well, that's, I, I, watch a man, watch a man. That's Hear unacceptable, me man. my brother. I won't have that. Me no business what you are saying. You, know, you and every other pastor and the one of me are talking about right now are you, man, too. We often struggle with the idea that front can be so fat in church. 
I won't well sit on, here and let well get on, you well, do that, well on, man. blasphemy. Him not even a use for him common sense. He said, why God? Why God would have made vagina if we're not supposed to trouble it as a man? That don't make no sense. You're talking rubbish, so because, my brother. Because he you, believes you, you, no. him ego make him believe saying for perfect. You're the idiot now. Drop on here and I pray about, oh, Father, please. Remove these thoughts of brazier and underwear thrown everywhere while I make this church sister sit on it like a chair. Well, him cry and cry and pray in vain because him actions often end up redefine the words. Front row. How do you arrive at such nonsense? How do you do that, my brother? How you mean? Him I get every front in a row after every church service. Remember that. And some of them end up with all picnic with a 30 year old before them wife find out. And when them wife find out, no fight time, what go on? Oh, I've got to have faith in my husband. And this is, this is a test and we're going to get through this. When she did have a husband, when she divorced, when she meet and married this new pastor, who ironically is the head of a multi-million dollar business, I mean, should have said church, take anyone you like. No fear, ex husband never have no money. So him go slip and end up slide. Like them chew a cooking aisle all boat in her room. Why? Because him never have nothing. So she cut left him when she get a front row seat in all this rich pastor at church. So is she really faithful to the man or the money? Don't answer that. Because in a fear mind, you know, a whore is just so, is someone who sells vagina and over back road. New Kingston and all those places, but she, she's a pastor's wife, a dignified lady. How dare you put her in the category of these immoral demons masquerading as females? Ah, that's disgusting. However right you are, yeah. there are good people there. Yeah, but brother. not you, in the way where you are thinking. You team. can't say. No, no, we no good. That, Nobody on the rubbish. planet, not just good. That's rubbish, well man. Well rubbish. Well on, well on. Wait, rubbish. wait, no man, wait. My brother. say good no exists, you know, but the only truly good human is the one who own them evil, admit it, and manage it. No other way to true goodness. Where are you going with this, my brother? All right, watch out. Mm -hmm. When you try to be only good, and the surest way to evil. You really think so? Yeah, man, of course. And you believe that? When you look at situations where you have all a Good wife. You understand where fear reputation is good in, in, in the sight of her husband and others. And then now, let's say she go slip up and suck a wood where don't belong to him. And a one man go say, oh, oh me go, me go, me go tell your husband you know, if you know, if you know suck off the rest of my friend then. Now she go end up suck 50 more wood plus her husband own seven times a day, seven days a week just for remain good. In the sight of her husband and others. That's a crying shame. Me believe, sir, if, if, mm. if, if humans did accept our own flawed nature and existence, then when we see people, we wouldn't see others. We'd have seen ourselves and it would have easier to forgive. Because we know so we capable of the same thing. Being capable no mean you do the same thing, you know. It just means you have the ability to do it. You're just separated from that person at the moment by choice. But the ego blind women and make most people continue to season up the objective reality of who they truly are with lie to make it easier for swallow. When the truth in it raw farm, nobody know on that feed, man, me I tell you. In the meantime, time. Let me understand something, Where are you? my brother. Yeah. Why is it then you, you say again that, yeah. that damn people don't acknowledge their their um their own faults in 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 the outcomes of, of of choices they make? Because again, we want to believe these lies where we rewrite. But you have a thing when you the subconscious. May I tell you that that is what bring to the surface who we truly are. Because you are, despite what you consciously believe, say so you believe, it is the subconscious 
that put on display, or I should I say highlight, where you truly believe. You may be on to something here. Of course. It brother. is why me personally believe, say. Mm-hmm. You must listen when nobody say, watch what them do. But why do you believe that? Because where well, somebody truly believe come out in a them unconscious action. And it is why, again, I believe that 95% of communication is non-verbal. Some people feel if them not talk, them not communicate. And that a foolishness. The subconscious control your actions through repetition. How so? All right. How, yeah, how so? Just, yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. The subconscious don't distinguish between if something right or wrong, you know, it just interpret what you think about frequently as something vital to your survival. So it see this this thing where you think about as something where you want and put it in your action. You might lose some people on all this. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, but you watch mean, all right, let me, mm-hmm. let me simplify it then. All right. All right. Frequent thoughts become beliefs. Beliefs become routine. Routines now become addictions, and then now these addictions become values, and then them values they turn in a culture. Then culture become second nature, which is a reflex action now. A reflex action are the one where you do subconsciously. An example, perhaps? All right, look at it like this now. It's like, the whole we know somebody where them mean from them born and now when them farted, them decide for kind. And every time you ask them for something, them say no before them say, oh, well, let me have it. Because them say no all them life. So that become the reflex, spontaneous answer to everything. All right, watch our next mm-hmm. example, you know. Me always like use that one, yeah. All right. Yes. You just start turning on a light switch and you're conscious of that. Mm-hmm. After turning on the light switch there, a certain amount of time, the subconscious say, wait there, you need help with that. Based on how, how much time me see uh, flip the switch there. So the subconscious take it over and say, go on, go do something else. Me we angry this. Interesting. That is why mm-hmm. we still turn on the light switch, even when we're very conscious, say light gone. Interesting, my brother. I didn't... Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. The, the, the subconscious is, is like a personal secretary, you know. It's a helper, a living helper, yeah. Man, we live downstairs in our basement, right under the conscious mind. But our belief system mm-hmm. turn it against way sometimes and turn it now hurt us. So how does it hurt though? All right, watch up after. Look on it away, my brethren. All right. Mm-hmm. Many women believe, you know, so them them want a good man, you know. Them really believe it with every fiber in them existence. Which is why you now them can encounter such terrible relationships and then they end up in a last part of ball about why am I so bad looking and why me can't get a good man? No, no my God, my life is just so salt, all these negative guys and why am I all so bad looking all the time? But them not aware say this good thing or them think them want them don't want it. Why is that? Because them is programmed by them ideologies through popular culture. The ideologies with popular culture putting at them through the TV. You think a in, hey, you think an accident make them call TV program. Program? Them program you off. You accept a certain narrative by repeating that narrative till it becomes second nature. All right. You know, remember said Jamaica how much years ago was a place of moral principles and certain discipline. That's true. After the internet forward, the you know, Jamaica done. Nobody no member Jamaica. No, nobody on a Jamaica again. So true. No, no wicked and tough. Everything lit. Nobody no feel away again. Everybody open at them feelings. And nobody no, no man nor no woman again. A bay. And nobody no, no friend again. A them nigga. All right. Watch her now. Everyone have a right for do what them want to do, you know, for them life and for them choice, you know. But the point is to show you how this repetition thing you work through the media. You know, remember a thing when them used to call Batty Boy? How Yard used to view them, man. What them do now? Them just put them in a every show, man, and portray them in a different type of light and repeat and repeat and repeat. And after a while, them existence become normal and commonplace. And I it make almost no woman no left when no man can give no chat. Kind of them mind them no need men. I make almost no man no left when a weak like rat. I make almost no body no left when a lick out and no pussy and cocky no left when a suck. You think that's something you need media, social or otherwise, I easy something? It rough. It turn your subconscious against you, man. Me can up the beating and not even know say I do it. It's like a whole other person living inside you. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Many people don't understand the subconscious. Well, feel free to explain further because I think I'm one of them, my brother. All right. Let me ask you something. Mm-hmm. 
everything where you learn from your band, somebody did call you and sit you down and teach you everything where you know. Come to think of it, no one ever did. Exactly. I did the same thing. Your, your little son did call you and tell you I'm ready to learn for talk. No. Him learn of him surroundings subconsciously and the same thing if somebody gets stuck in a foreign country or a Spanish country you now, a man stuck. In a eight month or less, man, him fluent in a Spanish. The subconscious is not with any mean you know. or the subconscious is dead there for help we adapt to any kind of situation where we face. The enemy is really the misunderstanding of everything where we are looking for. Yeah, man, this makes the subconscious dangerous because we are learn whether we want to learn or not. And again, see him so we learn unconsciously. Some of the worst habits we have. That's true. This is why you have to be careful of the energy where you surround yourself with. Because you will be the most positive, optimistic person and, and, and go around some negative people. I may tell you when they're done with you, man. Now we're going. So true. Yeah, man, I tell you. Because every problem we face with in this life, yeah, man, every, every solution with the egocentric mind that we believe we are, suggests is another problem will lead to lifelong problems because we simply are not attracted to the true solution. I think you're right, my brother, and I've always wondered that. Why is it like this, though? Because of the egocentric mind reshape the earth in a feet, image, and likeness, you know, it get to write the rules in a material world. So it flip everything upside down. So it portray weakness like anger and resentment as strength and portray strength like vulnerability as weakness. And it portrays solution as problem and problem as solution. So this is why when anybody find themselves in the presence of any kind of information, we, we can wake up them objective nature, which is God. You just start feel boring now and drop asleep. And the ego bring on the feeling there, you know, is a coping mechanism for the ego because the ego does not want you to find God in yourself. Because when you find the consciousness, they awake, you wake up, you're present. And the ego cannot survive in the present, in the now. So it makes you seek out gossip and consider gossip as entertainment. The ego feed off a negativity and constant drama. So it always that draw you away from the possibility of absence and I tell you things like, oh, how are you doing? I read book and them thing and I, and I listen to sensible thing. What happened? You know, you used to call tell 15 year old son, read one 18 year old girl. And the people, they must say, molest the girl, molest the youth. Where the Lord eh? If it was the other way around and it's the girl under age, the youth would have the jail. Go on over there, go come in, say cartel is a bad father. And know your life alone miserable. Go on, go get involved, yeah, man. But, but since our objective nature yeah. lets us know constantly what when it is we are lying to ourselves, then yeah. it wouldn't damn yeah. it be very easy for the average person to change or go towards change, my brother. But you have a member, you know, so the objective self is the self that we run from, you know. We never settle with it the right way yet in order to have that conversation. Yet. And not because you can't escape truth. You <laughs> no mean you're not gonna try. They try to escape regardless, you're, you're saying. Yeah, man, I that me I say. Most people are eternal slaves to the ego. But you wanna most of we go through life and try not to think about it. But them need for no say. The more you try not to think about it, and the more you think about it. Because trying not to think about it is actually thinking about it when you come to think about it. In the meantime. Yeah, man, if you know, say this is Leela I can right? And now you're listening to In the Meantime with Curly Locks, the voice box. All right, yes, yes, yes. We are going to In the Meantime, read a show at gmail.com. Yes, to read the letter of the day. Yeah, man. Yes, and this email is an actual email address so the eyes of them can write in and share on the views. And yes, the letter of the day is coming from Kirkland Palmer. I am a fan of In The Meantime and all your great works. I have a problem and would love your advice. The problem I'm having is, ever since I took your advice to take responsibility for my own action and set out on the path to self-development through self-discipline, it seemed I have alienated most of my friends and now they have all flocked to my cousin who was way less popular than me. And I won't lie, I find myself often tempted to become my old self again. 
as this change has made me a very lonely man. Well, Kirkland, give thanks. Yes, man, respect. All right, watch I know. As me always say, every problem is a maths problem. And you overlook a simple maths. You have to remember, say, the world where you live in, uh, this material world, yeah, consists of 95% of people who are lost and do interested in a finding them way. Because you have to get something, you know. Have sense. I want heavy burden for beer, you know. Hey, hey. I understand sometimes why, why, no, why most people don't have no sense, you know. And why 95% of them remain just a big idiot and want to steal this up. So watch out now, Kirkland and Mats. If 95% of people are idiot, and you find yourself amongst the 5% of people who have the courage for have sense, what that mean? It means that 95% of the time, 95% of the opinion them we are worried about is the opinion of an idiot. And you have to remember, say, to an idiot, a sensible person is an idiot. So anybody who turn sensible, to them, turn idiot. So when it comes to social judgment, we actually have fear the judgment of 95% of idiot. So all you have to worry about them opinions and I try to impress, idiot. Yeah, idiot. Them spiritually immature, and when you grow up, you know spiritually mature. So that is like a 40 year old, I worry about the opinion of a two year old. And as far as your cousin is concerned, you know, you have to remember something. Birds of a feather flock together. And you have to remember, say, people big up only two people in this life, yeah. People who can't stop them, and people where them can't stop. And you have to remember, say, anytime you wake up, and find yourself on the sensible side, all celebration done. Because a fool celebrate fool, so a them keep the party they going. Take up your cross and carry it. It is the only way to the meaning where everyone want find in them life. Don't make no one tell you nothing. You have to pick a side and stay upon it, be the coach or play upon it. It's not an easy road, you know, but we cannot reach with greatness without obstacle. It's vital to where we reach. Now this song yeah, dedicated to... Everyone will have the courage to end up in isolation and go it alone. Just to do the right thing. So at the end of your journey, you can leave a legacy where say you did strong enough to look weak. A legacy that will show say you did have the humility to be counted amongst those who truly understand strength. This are for the people who feel like them alone. Not no go so man. Be still and go inward. Jan or dead. Deep joy. Bad man citizen mm-hmm. You said you took mass in the meantime mm-hmm. hey. Life journey no nice Enough time we in the youths have to make that sacrifice Just to make it in life Sometimes Sundays and sleepless nights Struggle every day Yeah, yeah, man, if you know, say this is Leela Ike here right now. You're listening to In the Meantime with Curly Locks, the voice box. box. Check, it. Check it. I spy, I spy that you see something you might like. In the meantime. Bad man, citizen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You yeah, said you took bus. In the meantime. Hey. Life journey in a nice. Enough time we in the youths have to make that sacrifice Just to make it in life Sometimes Sundays and sleepless nights Struggle every day Up bass. In the meantime, up top, I'm represent for Curly Locks, the voice box. You understand? Stay in your own alien, yeah. 
bad bad citizen and all reputable online outlets yes all right watch i know because i have a whole lot of issues we are going to discuss in my upcoming book planet hurt h-o-r-t and my upcoming podcast visual podcast the rebellious truth we don't know how to balance that ego and therefore use that ego that we consider our mind and so our mind now end up i use we all right, we are going over to the phone lines, you know. Yes, deliver us some ego, poetry. Eel, line one. Eel, Eel. Eel, Eel vice box. Wagon. Yeah, yeah. Live in the meantime, in the brother. Jano. Yeah, man, respect, man. Yeah, man, what do you say? You know, say, something must stress me up, my brother. I want your opinion on it. All right, what that? What go on? You know, say, I want to know why the people don't make the least contribution to your life. And you give them the most. Yeah. Them so ungrateful, my brother. Yeah. Come watch ya. He's yeah. a man never grew with no father, you see me? Fatherless, like a Catholic church with locked down. Ah, uh, yeah, brother, man, I eat that, you see me? Yeah, yeah. So, me make you know, man, never have no youth days. Come on, mother, get sick of a while, you know? And I'm alone take care of my brother and my sister. You Come in, double, yeah, yeah. So, when me about 17 now, yeah. I just I get to know this brother, you know, where I say my father beat him. Running. So I'm not even bother listening, you know. I just don't know say I'm a father already in the camera. Yeah. I never look for things on Lego certain things. But I'm mad in other Yeah, brother, coming in my mommy and daddy politics and all them go through and this and that, you know. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Ah, man, don't know a family and them things there already. You see me? I say, yeah, man. Ah, man, don't say nothing now to go on for him neither. So, me just set a look up plan, you know, and stick to it, you know, brother. Because a long time me I listen to your work, you know, so you know, say me an idiot, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, give thanks. Brother, no, me do you, man, no, have nothing good for say, brother. Oh, yeah, sir. Man, Biggest obstacle in me way that that. that go on? Yeah, man, I remember say, I him said one way I know from nowhere I want help, you know, brother. So I don't stop till I start to look at wholesale and the things start going good, you see me? Yeah. So long story short, you know, remember when I was 17, I know a G, you know, brother? Yeah, man. You see me? Yeah. And I don't stop till the wholesale shot, you know, brother? You see me? Yeah. So when I look at him, that starts skin teeth and I tell everybody how I'm proud of me and I feel him, you, that I'm basing, you see All me? The while, so through me is a man who don't hold certain things and them things there. Yeah. The brother start living in my wallet, man. Oh, yeah, I see. Be a problem, my mom. So I start help out the G said we because I done my father as me say, you see my brother? Yeah, man. Every time the man asks me for help, all when me not have it, me give me no brother. So you know, so you see the bad man. Yeah. The man come link me and tell me say I'm a car, you know, Papa. Oh, yeah, I, I know, see. I don't know what I'm doing with the next tree, you know, and the next one bike when I buy, you know, brother. So me have to make the elder know say, yo, the whole sale I'm mush up, you know. Alright, now me now I figure all the responsibility and build back my thing because the thing I drop, you know, Papa. So you know, no, so the man fling us okay, your mama make him catch are... me. Bust up the whole of my head, brother. And that go on, yeah, we... man, you mean and that go on, brother? Yeah, me I tell you, Rasta, the saga continues. Me I tell you, the more things change, the more them remain the same. And me if you tell you. Alright, if you don't listen to the program before you call it, I know, say, there's a thing I talk about, name the subconscious. And the dangers of the ego. Yeah, brother, man, me did a listen, man, or some deep reasoning. You know? All right, good, good, all right. Me know this thing is frustrating with you and your father, where you give your all, and it's like it owed to him. person that I may tell you. Yeah, man, me know, me end up my wovers or something there. But me I make you understand it. In the initial stages, meaning the early stages of every situation, there's a story being written psychologically by everyone involved in the situation. The subconscious is that thing, you know, we help the mind organize everything where it has see because there is so much information we are come at with from all directions. So the mind now have to process and organize everything where it has deal with. And in your father's story now, in process you as the giver. And that's it. Because you give consistently too long without setting any kind of boundary. Why you say that? Because anything, like you hear me say, repeated over and over become second nature and then you now it become a reflex action. Well, in this case and all other cases like it, kindness becomes a reflex expectation on the part of the taker. But why you think so, though? Because the pattern repeat so much where you kind to this brother and help out this brother and that become now second nature to him. They expect your action to be the way in a film story, in process in my mind, say you are the giver and him are the taker. Really, brother? Of course. In a your story now, how you process this thing, you know, is that you're kind. And if I just give to these people, they might reciprocate, or I should I say, return the favor then, at least in the form of gratitude. And when it is not forthcoming, then it is very frustrating. You really you understand? think I'm still, brother? Yeah, man. No, brother. Why you say so, brother? Because after years of you being kind, a kindness to you, you know, but an obligation to him, your purpose in the equation is to pay what you owe. Show, you know, brother. Now, when you know or anyone else in a situation similar to this, decide to take back your life and prioritize anything slightly related to your purpose. You become the worst thing to them. You're never good yet from your barn. Even if we are prioritized or something, you're going to benefit them. If they not have what they perceive as control over what you do, then it you know, make no sense of foolishness. All things, once it related to what they see as you. Because one now, you are going to change the order where you're having a theme head, where are predictable. So that throw everything into disarray. Life as him know it. Stand still because in time identity around that story. You understand? So anything distort that reality in a trouble. But why do? Because you support this reality too long. So him feel entitled to that. Yes, this reality become him subconscious reflex expectation. And the same psychology happen with death, you know. Even though we know from we born, say people are dead. 
when we spend years organized with life around people, around certain people in our setting, our surrounding, and process and expect so them to always be there because them did dead yesterday and the day before that. And the years before them there, when, when, when them dead now and drop out of the equation, even though we consciously know and accept death as a part of life, it is reality. Subconsciously, we cannot accept it because everything we come to expect is a part of our identity. And the same thing happened with divorce, you know, my brethren. Me not think so, brother. John, what do you no. mean? What you say? That's why you have people all of them fatties, them here to the mother and father are divorced and turn idiot. No, brother. Depressed. Because them band come see this, all this for change. Them no business with no right and wrong. Mommy and daddy if you go back, fix my reality and make it work like how me used to it. Them no business if one and two fuck left in a mommy and daddy for somebody else. Go back! How dare you distort my reality? You're mad. In the meantime. I die. I'd like to ask yeah. a question that lingers with myself and I'm sure a lot of people. What that? You've, you've outlined so many spiritually factual things about yeah. um, human behavior. Yeah. However, I'd like to know if you have any um, solutions or um, guidelines um, where the taming of the ego is concerned, my brother. I want to say the solutions to all problems when we discuss is highlighted simultaneously with the problem. For those who are not in touch with such deepness, the solution is this. To realize and accept that your ego is an illusion that you consider as yourself that is not real. It prevents you from finding your objective nature or your God self, which is the creator of true meaning and purpose in your life, true discipline and self-responsibility. We have to realize our own dirty habit them and bring them into conscious realization and get rid of them the same way how we get them to practice and repetition. Only this time it is the repetition of the right and proper actions. But before we reach this, you know, we have to get rid of the fear of social judgment because in any area of our life, if there is nothing to be embarrassed about, we're unstoppable, we have to realize uh, it's not that serious. The ego is a liar. We tell we say happiness is something physical, something material, something superficial. It makes we tie with identity to everything we have always a change. So no one can truly be happy if them identify happiness only with things that do remain constant. You mind giving us an, um, an example? Me I talk things like youth and age and looks and them things there. You think so? Yeah, man. Today, them are the Instagram model. Yeah, man, with the stiff breasts and well-done buttocks. Then the man, them now, we are the man now, we're ever clean, flossing with the G's and everybody else a fool. Obsessed with self-image and self-importance. Till them quint and just wake up at 70 and realize it was all an illusion because them can't remember nothing between the age of 20 to the sudden 70. Because we spend with 30s, I worry about the 20s we pass. We spend with 40s, I worry about the 30s we pass. Spend the 50s, etc., etc. And we can't remember nothing because the truth is we were not present. We never dead dead during the 20s to the 70s. No recollection except small flashes of insignificant self-delusion with them involving her over the years. Indeed, that's a fact. I've always wondered, my brother, why at certain periods or time of our lives we, we put so much significance in achieving a certain thing and it was so important and, and now when they're a distant memory, we can't even seem to, to remember them, my brother. Because, like me say already, we never present when those moments were the present. Because we put so much significance in this future. It is always tomorrow if I get this, I will be happy. Or next week, or next year. And every today become a tomorrow. So we end up and live beside with life instead of unite. Now here we are in our 70s. All and bad mind young people, all we picnic them. Because we the gears. Now, see so we are now, with bag under with throat. No real teeth no left in our mouth. 
And here we are, with the belly so big we can't look down and see we would. And even if we could have seen it, it no make no sense, because it's dead. Now here she is, with the breasts when no amount of implants could have stopped from drop. She still got that false ass, but nobody no interested for top that ass. So true, my brother. As long as we tie with identity to anything we have, farm, while ignoring with spirit that is farmless and timeless, we are going to suffer. So true. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right. So somebody a type in on the live, yeah? All right. Sexy Simona say, it is modern time now, sir. There is a corrective surgery for everything. All right, sexy Simone, do this to me you now. When you're 80, correct your age. In the meantime, 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 in between time. Time, in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time. Time. 